This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Thanks, Surfshark. Warning, this video will contain spoilers up to chapter 1031. You've been warned. Hello Manakama Tachi, this is Joy Girl, and today I'd like to get into the discussion of a popular theory in relation to Luffy's Devil Fruit. The Gomu Gomu no Mi's recently garnered some attention due to the reveal that it was once in the possession of the world government and information shared to us courtesy of Who's Who, and in fact, not too long ago, we discussed the various different possibilities for Luffy's awakened Devil Fruit form. And if you haven't watched that video, then I suggest you do so after this discussion. But something which we didn't address in that discussion relates to a wild idea I've briefly mentioned before about the possibility of Luffy having a gigantified form. So today, I'd like to discuss and share with you the possibility of that theory coming true, and in return, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter, so please do leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to like the video, and please do subscribe and click that notification bell for future One Piece videos. Luffy being able to turn into a giant is an idea that's been thought of to be a possibility since Ennius Lobby, when Luffy used his gear third form to partially enlarge select body parts by biting into his thumb and blowing air into his bone and thus inflating his arm by transferring air into his body. So an obvious thought that spurred in people's minds was, if Luffy is able to do this to a selected body part, then what's stopping him from turning his entire body gigantic? Which is exactly the point of this video to discuss why seeing a giant Luffy form in the future could make a lot of sense. First of all, the fact that Luffy's already achieved this to a certain degree through his use of his devil fruit certainly adds a lot of weight to this theory. Apart from his gear third form, we also saw his nightmare Luffy form in Thriller Bark, where Luffy this time enlarged his whole body, albeit he was inadvertently helped by Moria himself, but Luffy's gear fourth forms, Boundman and Tankman in particular, heavily resembles this whole body enlargement using the properties of just his devil fruit. So the thought of Luffy achieving this on a much, much bigger scale, gigantic scale in fact, isn't impossible, and is in fact maybe even likely. This could be explained to follow suit with what we've seen so far, his gigantification being his gear fifth form, or could even be the result of his awakening and devil fruit. The point is, in some way or another, Luffy, through use of his devil fruit properties of rubber, could inflate himself to become so large that he rivals the size of giants. And based on the process of how we know Luffy to be able to achieve this, then we could assume that Luffy's only limited by how much air he can pump into his body. Meaning that if he blows enough air, he could reach whatever size he wants. So now that we have that logical component we can work with, let's look at how it could also make sense in terms of the story. The importance of giants has been seeded from very early in the story. Since our introduction to Dory and Broggy at Little Garden, the impressive strength and mysterious history of giants has been progressively developed throughout the series. Rather than being a homogenized race, we now know giants to be made up of various different species, even including hybrid species such as the Wotans, and also to have been an important part of historical events which shaped the world. We also know that their feats and strength owed to their large size has made them highly sought after by different groups, but perhaps none more dedicated to acquiring this special race than the world government. Apart from just tricking gullible giants to join their forces, we know the world government to have actively engaged in the development of giants by enlisting the expertise of brilliant scientific minds such as the likes of Vegapunk. Seriously, Vegapunk is big brain. So big brain that he could bypass the portal between the One Piece world and our world to hack into your internet. So avoid the nightmare that is Vegapunk by countering him with your own Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a VPN app which allows you to create a secure private network from your device to help you as you sail online on the internet. You don't want the world government snooping and prying into your internet activities? Surfshark will encrypt your data to create a secret identity and make you undetectable online. You want to uncover mysteries that have been blocked in your country. Surfshark can bypass geo restrictions to allow you to view content that isn't available in your country. You don't want pesky CP9 agents masquerading their way into your online life? Surfshark can block ads malware, trackers, and phishing attempts to help keep you safe. Don't let internet woes get in the way of your dreams. You can become the internet king. And don't forget to use my code JOYGIRL for 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 83%. 
getting back to giants in One Piece. Whilst we've known the source of the world government's interest in this race to be in order to gain the enormous strength that giants possess, this may be something that gets further developed and provided deeper reasons for in the context of the possibility of Luffy's gigantification. Because another element in One Piece that has progressively become the source of greater mystery and interest is the meaning of the straw hat. Whilst initially introduced as a symbol of the promise and friendship between Luffy and Shanks, that ragged straw hat delighted the fanbase with the reveal that it was previously owned by the late Pirate King, but even more greatly shocked us with the reveal of a giant straw hat being preserved at Marijuana. And if this didn't raise enough eyebrows, we also recently had the reveal that the Gomu Gomu no Mi was a devil fruit which the world government considered important enough to warrant its private escort by the CP9. And when the then CP9 agent Who's Who failed to secure this, it actually resulted in his imprisonment at Impel Down, seemingly furthering the importance placed on this fruit. And of course, even more interestingly, it wasn't just the world government who wanted to secure the Gomu Gomu no Mi, because it also seems like Shanks and the Red Hair Pirates also actively went after that specific fruit. And well, given Shanks' own mysterious connections to essentially everything that seems to go on in One Piece, it does certainly add weight to the notion that this fruit is indeed special. And all of these tidbits of information put together could point at a very nice, if albeit quite speculative conclusion that the former owner of the Gomu Gomu no Mi also wore a straw hat and unleashed an ultimate form of gigantification, perhaps the result of their awakened form, which also allowed them to enlarge external objects such as their straw hat. And this individual was a threatening opponent to the world government, perhaps even Joy Boy himself. And this is why the Gomu Gomu no Mi required such protection. And failing the securitization of the fruit, the world government has now deemed Luffy, the current possessor of the devil fruit with the potential to become a giant, as an individual who must be extinguished from the face of the earth. And the combination of giants and hats together is nothing new in the series because we've seen many instances when gigantic beings wear hats. With the most interesting of the bunch perhaps being the Yeti Cool Brothers, whose appearance from the shoulder up was always portrayed shadowed in the series. But interestingly enough, the Yeti Cool Brothers also wore hats that closely resemble the shape of a certain straw hat worn by Luffy. And I'm not necessarily suggesting that the Yeti Cool Brothers are intrinsically linked to all of this secrecy and Joy Boy, but Luffy's gigantification could become the trigger for so many of these mysteries surrounding giants to becoming unveiled. And not only does the idea of Luffy's gigantification fit well in terms of the story from a high level looking at the world's history, but also works nicely with Luffy's own journey. For one, it would be a nice change of pace to see Luffy physically dominate an opponent through his size. Because whilst yes, we've seen him in large parts of himself or even his whole body to a size much bigger than his normal human self, Luffy for majority of the series has been a very undersized character character, coming in at under 6 feet, which by the standards of the One Piece world practically makes him a midget even when compared to other normal humans. A key element of many of Luffy's fights is that his opponents almost always tower over him. It adds to his growth throughout the series as the underdog who continues to achieve impressive feats through his creative and genius and ultimate willpower. But in saying that, it would also be a nice development if by the end of the series, Luffy has figured out a way for his physical dominance to match his tenacity. Also, Luffy's potential to become a giant could also make sense in the context of a possible arc being set in Elbaf. It's been widely speculated in the fanbase that the next island after Wano will be Elbaf, and though at the moment this does remain just speculation, Elbaf being the next arc would work nicely if Luffy were to require training with this new giant form ability, and so he gains this knowledge and expertise, well, training with giants. It would also be a convenient way for us to learn about the history and lore of giants through Elbafian warriors explaining the giant race to a confused Luffy who's only recently unleashed his powers. Which does suggest that this would mean Luffy awakened his giant form at Wano, but even this could be said to not be a completely meritless crazy idea. There's the fact that Luffy has now had multiple power-ups and yet Kaido remains a threat, as well as the now increased possibility of Luffy awakening his devil fruit like his supernova rivals. So with all the power awakenings that we're seeing, Wano just might be the arc where Luffy will showcase his gigantification ability and in doing so, this could complete the parallels between the power-ups of our monster trio, which reflect their respective opponents in Thriller Bark, adding to the mirroring effect between these two arcs. Because in Thriller Bark, Sanji was fighting an opponent with extremely tough skin and the ability to turn invisible, and as we've just seen, Sanji's latent German modifications has been very recently awakened, and thereby he's also attained similar abilities to those of his Thriller Bark opponent. Zoro first encountered his 
his black blade by acquiring a famed sword from a legendary samurai also in Thriller Bark, although he didn't even know Shusui was a black blade at the time. But in Wano, not only has he received another great sword from another legendary samurai, but it's also highly possible that we may even see him awaken Enma and turn it into a black blade. So then Luffy's awakening? If we follow the pattern of Zoro and Sanji acquiring power-ups that could be linked to their Thriller Bark opponents and apply that to Luffy, well, Oz was a literal giant and Moria was able to significantly enlarge himself by absorbing shadows. And wouldn't it just nicely bring the arc parallels full circle if we saw Luffy also gain gigantification abilities to reflect his opponents back in Thriller Bark? But now that you've heard my thoughts, let me know yours by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to like and share the video and please do subscribe for more One Piece content. You can also join our Joyfleet Discord server for more One Piece fun and even become a patron member for more special roles and powers within that server. Also remember to use my code and link below for 83% off your Surfshark account plus a whole four months off for free. Thank you to our patrons who help support the channel. This is Joy Girl, and I'll see you again soon.